Hi everyone, back for another week. And yes, I'm back from Bali and I had a wonderful time. Thank you to everybody who wished me good holidays. Um, I'm going to do a second week of marbling as I promised before I went away. And what I have here is a tray just full of water. I'm using a polystyrene tray. You can use anything and probably a white one would be better because you can see the colours better. But I only have a black one at the moment. And what I have played with in the past with water is this kind of marbling kit. Um, sumagashi is the, the type of marbling. And this is a sumagashi kit. And I did purchase it here in Australia. And I've had a bit of a play with it and it's quite fun and it gives good results if you open it the right way. If you want to have a play with that and look around for it, um, they are available on the internet and they do give very good results. And there are some YouTubes on it so you can see how that works. I'm not going to show you that today. But what I did get to thinking was, well, they're acrylic inks that they're working with and perhaps normal acrylic inks um, such as this one. FW, Dala, uh, Dala Rowney, or uh, Art Spectrum, which is an Australian brand, uh, might work. So I've played around with them a bit, and I've found that yes, they do. And the way that I've found they work best is to apply them with a skewer or a saute stick. So just dip, apply that to the water, just dip it into the top of the water there. And you may not be able to see it on your screen because of the black tray, but it is floating on the top there. And then take another saute stick with another colour. Do the same thing. This one doesn't seem to spread as easily. This uh, Art Spectrum one. It's taking a bit longer. And you'll probably find that, that different brands will react differently. You'll have to play with the ones that you have. See how it works for you. So I'm just applying them randomly. And then I want to take my stick and just draw into the water. A little bit. To create some patterns. Take my paper, which is just a little small piece because I've only got a small tray here. It's fairly impossible to uh, do a video with a large tray because it's too far away for the camera, so it's kind of a compromise. And there we have it. Now, these are water-soluble inks, so um, and this is just printer paper. So what I would really need to do in order to fix it is to apply um, a solution of alum and that is spelled A-L-U-M, and I'll put that on the screen for you. Um, and it is apparently some kind of fixative, and I did try and obtain it here. Um, apparently it can be obtained in supermarkets um, in some places, but not in Australia apparently. And um, to be honest, I didn't feel that it was necessary for me to go sourcing it. Um, I'm not going, planning on doing a great deal of this kind of um, marbling. So I didn't get it. But if I wanted to, um, to make sure that this paper was going to last and that the colour really grabs really well and stays there, um, then apparently that's what I would need to, um, to get is that alum powder. So anyway, that's the way that you can do some um, simple water marbling with just your acrylic inks. Something else you might like to try is um, your fluid acrylics, if you have any. Blowing on the surface seems to help them spread. 
could do that with a straw if you wanted to and just gently teasing it with your skewer can give you some interesting effects okay let's see what we've got There we have. So you can also use your golden fluid acrylics to do the same thing. But I can see that some of that colour, you know, is kind of scooting across the surface there. So once again, um, I would probably need to treat the paper with alum first if I really wanted to. Um, so what I have here it. is some shaving cream, and this is the brand that I've used. But any brand will do, and um, it doesn't matter whether it's cheap or expensive. It works in the same way. And what I've found with shaving cream marbling before is that it's kind of blotchy and I wanted something a little bit more fluid so I decided that I would mix some water in with it and see what happened. And I found that that works pretty well. So just add enough water so that it becomes creamy. You can do this in a separate jug or something of course. I just want to show you how I was doing it and how much water I was adding. That's looking pretty good. I kind of want it smooth. The water does tend to drop to the bottom but that's okay as long as you've got that smooth creamy top Okay, that's pretty good. So it's the consistency of, um, you know, loose whipped cream, I guess. And then the first thing I tried was just food colouring. I took a saute skewer and went back and forth through those blobs or dots and got these cool designs. Well, I think they're cool anyway. Much more like uh, traditional marbling designs and um, if you do some research on those you'll find that there's certain ways of um, moving the combs and they usually are combs so they're you know something like a fork only larger so you could actually use a fork by pulling through again but the teeth are normally a little bit further apart these teeth are blending that colour a little bit too much. But that's the kind of effect that you can get. Um, so you can keep playing with that design until you've got something, you know, that you really So now like. I've got something that I'm reasonably happy with. I'm going to drop this paper on. Let that colour soak through. Lift it off. And this is pretty hard to do actually, to let all this drip off. Take some kind of scraping tool and scrape that off. So I'm back and it's like 15 minutes later because I've had to clean up shaving cream everywhere. Um, when I practiced doing this, I did it at the kitchen sink and on my kitchen bench and it was easy to clean up. I just dumped it all in the sink and so on. And I've learnt that that's pretty impossible to do um, in a small area on a desk with a camera going. So I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. 
um, this is what we ended up with from the previous session you can do exactly the same thing with a number of different um, inks and acrylic paints and your fluid acrylics and so forth so I would suggest that you um, have a little play yourself um, in your kitchen where or in your laundry or somewhere where there's a sink available um, and have fun and I'm now going to go and try and get all this ink off my fingers see you next week bye